My name is Matthew Cook and welcome to That's Not Helping. Ah, summertime in Florida. Clear skies, beautiful beaches, and a cop shooting a guy in a park in front of at least 50 kids on a summer camp field trip. Antonio Torres, a Miami police officer, shot and killed a homeless man named Fritz in Gibson Park, Miami this Thursday morning, proving once again that everything bad happens in Florida. Or is it Texas? Maybe it's Arizona, but who's counting at this point? Anyway, witnesses say that Fritz was a park regular holding a weird metal stick that he always carries, and he wasn't aggressive or provoking the police when he was shot five times. A local news station got this statement from an area resident. We see him every morning That's with this right. little stick. The same little the, stick the, that he had, that he had in his hand when the police officer shot him five times, it's the same stick that, I mean, the, what, the, was there an altercation of some sort? It was not, the man ain't have a chance to say nothing to the police. We had three problems. Homelessness, mental illness, and keeping the streets safe for our kids. And how did we solve these problems? We shot the homeless guy who was mentally ill, and we traumatized 50 children and their families probably for life. Oh yes, I forgot about a fourth problem, which is that the entire country is really hoping that police officers stop killing people unnecessarily. So guess what, officers, what you did back there in the park? What would help the 500,000 homeless people many of whom are veterans, would be affordable housing programs and a substantive social safety net. And for the 42.5 million Americans with mental illness, we need adequate treatment centers. So we're not using jail. Finally, can we just get some new training for police officers, please? Can we call them peace officers again and train them to de-escalate violence? I just feel like that would be helpful. I don't know. It's just a thought.